الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الناس إن وعد الله حق فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور إن الشيطان لكم عدو فاتخذوه عدوا إنما يدعو حزبه ليكون من أصحاب السعيد Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and blessings and salah to Abdul Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all in, uh, on his companions and his households. May Allah give us the reward for sittings every day in the masjid that is the best of house in the world and make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds and forgive our all sins. Today I will continue the same surah that is Surah Al-An'am and I will start from ayah 55 inshallah. May Allah give me tawfiq to say something about some verses of Surah Al-An'am. I started one ayat that is from different surah and that is Surah Al-Fatir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal nas, inna wa'adallahi haqqum. O humankind, indeed, the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is true. Anything what Allah say, it is 100%. إِنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Don't let this dunya deceive you. Don't let this dunya drive away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this dunya is full of puzzle, delusion. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you have to be very careful. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا يَغُرَّنَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ And don't let the shaitan, that shaitan is already deceived. So don't let this shaitan to deceive you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So shaitan always tries to drive away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever Allah said, he tries to take the humankind from the remembrance, from the uh, following the rules and regulation of Islam to the Jahannam. Because it is his promise. Why? Because he knows I am in hell. My destination is in hell. It is 100%. So I will not this humankind to go to Jahannam. This is my challenge. I will take them to Jahannam. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us so many times, Shaitan inna shaitan alakum adu. Shaitan is your open enemy. Shaitan is our open enemy. So Shaitan tricks so many ways. So we have to careful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describe these ayats in different ways. Sometimes we think the same messages in different surah, but different uh, types, ayat. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَكَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ وَلِتَسْتَبِينَ السَّبِيلُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ This is from Surah Al-An'am, ayat 55. That this is how we explain the verses in detail, so that the way of guilty may become exposed. Same thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in different ways so that the 
way of hell, the shaitan's tricky path may expose that it is clear that which is the correct way, which is the wrong way. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the same message in different ways, in different ayahs. قُلْ إِنِّي نُهِيتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Ayat 56 From now on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, tell the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to save the people and most of the audience here is the mushrikeen of the Makkah قُلْ إِنِّي نُهِيتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Say, O Muhammad, inni nuhitu, I am forbidden, an a'budal ladina tadruna min dunillah. Whatever you are asking, instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a worship, I am forbidden for to do these things. Qul la attabu ahwa'akum. I say, I don't follow you or others rub that you are following. I will not your wish your desires because it is on your own purpose you are making these idols and you are worshipping if I follow your wings your desires then I will be not among the one who is following the correct path if I follow your desires if you think if I am amongst you then I want to, I have to follow you no I cannot follow you because it is forbidden for me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell me not to follow you, your wish. So it is my goal. But the thing is, in case of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is message. But what about in general for the Muslims, sometimes we actually follow our own desires. That is the problem. Most of the Muslims, they don't follow the Quran and Sunnah every time but most of the time they think okay for uh, 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 salah and zakat this all the main pillars it is islam but sometimes we can follow our own notion in the society the rules and regulation of the society it is their own purpose they are sometimes it is contradictory to the islam but they don't think maybe this uh, uh, occasion, this uh, uh, any type of rituals, any type of uh, cultures that is brought from the Hindu, from Christian, they are following this. So, according to this ayah, we are actually forbidden to do this. Any kind of anniversary, any kind of anniversary, it is very dangerous. We, the Muslims, are following. It is from Christian. So, we have to. Be careful about this. Next ayah, fifty-seven. Qul inni ala bayyinatin min Rabbi wa kathabtum bi ma indi ma tastajilun bi in al-hukm illa lillah. يَقُصُّ الْحَقَّ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْفَاصِلِينَ Say, O oh Muhammad, إِنِّي عَلَى بَيِّنَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّ I am on a clear evidence. I am not following my own desire. I am not following any wish. I am on a strict and clear evidence that has a great root. That has a great root. The basement is very strong, and whatever you are following, there is that, is that is bottomless. There is no basement. And this basement is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But you are not, you are denying this Quran. That is strong. You are denying. But what is very shallow? That is. Baseless, you are following that one. Ma indi ma tastajirunabi. But some, uh, as we discuss this mushrikeen asking for the punishment. If you are the true belief, uh, prophets, then bring. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling most of the time that Alladina kafaru lahum shadid. Those who deny the Quran, 
for that there is a severe punishment. So every time punishment, punishment. Why is the punishment? If you are true prophets, you bring that punishment. And you said for that Samud, Lu, they have this kind of punishment, so bring that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said through Muhammad Nabi, I don't have the power to give you the punishment. It is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is you are actually making uh, hassan. You are you want this punishment very quick, but it is not up to me. The punishment is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inil hukmu illa lillah. The decision is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is his wisdom. If he gave us any uh, any uh, any uh, uh, any break, any long uh, break that okay, I am giving you time, enjoy your life. That is actually from Allah subhanahu wa taala. For example, if I see that my this brothers, this uh, son or this uh, friends is in, in in the wrong way, is enjoying his life, so I think he is gone. Allah, why Allah giving him punishment? Sometimes I think like that, but Allah knows maybe he will come back one day. This is from Inil Hukmu Illa Decision is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. يَقُصُّ الْحَقَّ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الْفَاصِلِينَ He tells the truth. Whatever Allah tells, it is truth. Whatever truth, it is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Because فَذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمُ الْحَقِّ that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is haq, truth. Wa huwa khayrul fasilin, he is the best of judge. Actually, wa huwa khayrul fasilin, it is an assertive sentence, right? Just, he is the best of judge. And in case of Surah Tutin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, uh, the last ayat is, Alaysa Allahu bi ahkamil hakimi. Isn't Allah is the best judge? They are Allah asking. And here is the answer. Well, who are fighting for today? He is the best judge. So Allah asking us, but Allah doesn't need our answers. Allah doesn't need our answer. Allah is clearing everything. So the Quran is actually bayan. Everything is clear and cut, like crystal clear. But our uh, attention should be our intention should be I, we have to study otherwise we cannot get the result from the Quran and here actually in the hukmu illa lillah yakusul haq wa huwa khayru fasilin قل again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said oh Muhammad say law anna indi ma tasta'jiluna bi again then you are asking the punishment to become quicker if it is on my power if it is on my power that means Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said if it is on my wish I will settle the decision I will bring the punishment and you will see you will face the punishment Allah knows who is the who know, uh, Allah knows the, who is the uh, wrongdoers. Allah A'lam is Zalimin. Actually, here we can see that through Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, sometimes Rasul become angry. Because they always asking, where is your punishment? You are not the true prophet, you are the liar, you are the uh, mad, everything like that. But sometimes Rasul become upset. That's why Allah said like this: If the punishment in case of my own ownership, then I will settle the matter. So uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha narrated that she asked Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Have you encountered a day harder than the day of battle Uhud?" That means Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam faced the most toughest time in the battle of Uhud. Beside that, any kind of this uh, tough day, then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, your tribes, that means the people of Quraysh, have troubled me a lot. And what as the other, 
the other day is the whole struggle was trouble on the day of Aqaba when I present myself to Ibn Abd Yalil Ibn Abd Kulani. That means when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is actually the beginning of the prophethood. When Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was spreading, giving dawah to Mecca, these people hated him and uh, neglect him. That time Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, okay, let me go to Taif. Maybe these people can accept because uh, there is a, some uh, relationship with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Taif also. So, but when Rasul present them this dawah, these people they don't accept. That time Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was so shocked, so frustrated, and instead of that, these people allow these children to throw a stone Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he was hopeless, he was frustrated, mentally sick, also physically injured. Allah Akbar. What a test. So that is my toughest day, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. And when he was coming back, until the corner Ta'alib, that area, he was actually, uh, well, he couldn't concern why I'm I. He was just thinking what to do, what to do. Then suddenly he saw there is a cloud up above him and he saw that Jibreel was there. And Jibreel said that Allah listened everything, what happened in Taif. So there is a, an, a, another angel with me and he is the uh, he is in charge of these mountains beside this Tau, uh, Taif. So if you ask, then this mountain can crush these people in Taif. Then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Bal arju an yukhrij Allahu min aslabihim man ya'udhu Allah wahdahu la yushriku bihi shayha. Subhanallah. This is the mercy of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, no. But I hope that Allah will let them beget children who will worship Allah alone. Maybe some people come from their offspring, they will worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any thinking partner. So here, see the within this, uh, this hadith and uh, Quranic ayah, kind of contradiction. The Sallallahu said, if the punishment within me, I will send. But it is not actually the punishment. Because the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Rahmatul Lil Alameen. He is the mercy of this dunya. He cannot do like that. Just because of his angriness, he is said like that. وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُمْ And the key of unseen is within Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Inshallah, next day I will discuss this thing. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات والذكر الحكيم أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين استغفر إنه هو الله الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته